What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions and functions, and we're going to talk about the variables function in the referencing functions section. So the variable function allows you to um, specify what variable you have in your um, flow, and then just return the value or what it's set to at the moment. So we've covered different parts of variables before, but this function actually allows you to go off and get the value at a specific point in the flow and then return that to you. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate here, um, I have a CDS trigger for when a record is updated. Then we're going to list some records and then we're going to initialize a variable. So the variable that we're initializing is called var1. It's an integer and it has a default value of zero. Then we have a loop. So, so this is a for each loop and the for each loop is looking at this list record step here. And then we're going to go through and create some records, which isn't important, but we're also going to increment that var1 variable by one each time we loop through these iterations. So we're going to go off, we're going to list a bunch of records, we're going to do a loop on them, we're going to increment the variable at the time of this loop, and then we're going to see what this outputs to. So if I go down to my compose action at the bottom called referencing functions and click on inputs, I can go to expressions and I can scroll down until we get to referencing function. Uh, and we have variables here, and this returns the value of the variable specified. So if I click that, um, we can see it's got one parameter, which is variable name. So we're going to put in, uh, in single quotations, var1, and click OK. And then we have our variable here. So we can test this out. Let's click test. Go run it from a previous test. Um, because I don't want to update my CDS record to trigger this. So I go through, and then it's going to loop through a few records, and then we have an output. So we get the output of four. So if I go back to my loops, I can see that this has looped through three times, uh, four times, sorry. So it's looped through here, we've incremented it to two, we've gone to the next one, we'll increment it again to three, we go to the next one, we'll increment it again, and we get to four. And then the referencing function here actually outputs it to four. So this allows you to um, specify um, the variable name and the variable that you want to output into a into a function or into a formula, so you can uh, you can output this. Again, we can kind of use the um, the. Uh, the dynamic content, as you can kind of see, we have a variable here that we could specify in, uh, and it basically is doing the same thing. Um, if you just hover over it, it says actually variables var1, hover over this one, it says variables var1. So it actually does the exact same thing. This is the shorthand for it and the easy way to do it in. But it's kind of useful that they're given us the formula for it as well. Again, I think this is another one of those holdovers from uh, Logic Apps or from various updates where we now have this, we don't specifically need this function, but again, useful to know what it's there for and useful to, uh, useful to see it in action. So what do you guys think? Is this something you use a lot? Did you know that, that function existed? Do you always use the dynamic content? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time.